What's up, guys, and welcome to episode four of my top ten Leeson plays of the week, submitted by you guys, my viewers. Let's jump right into it. Coming in at this week's number ten spot is a play made by McCree Deadeye. He notices a play opportunity open up, so he goes in immediately kicking the Katarina into the Ezreal and following up with a resonating strike for the instant double kill. He thinks about ward hopping out, but decides to stick around and see what he can do. He notices a low HP Grog, so he waits for the right moment and then flashes through the Zyra, allowing him to land a sonic wave and pick up the triple kill. And for this week's number 9 spot, a play submitted by No Name One. With the enemy sieging down the inner turret, he notices them clump together, he lands the Q on Skarner and goes in, Ward hops to reposition his kick and lands a 4-man ulti followed up by Yasuo to melt all of them and successfully defend his tower. And at this week's number 8 spot, we have a play submitted by someone whose name I don't want to mispronounce, so I'm just going to put it on the screen. A little bit overextended here with the enemy minion waves on top of him, he makes an aggressive play on Zyra and pulls off a smooth insect knockup, instantly flashes on top of them for the Tempest and Threshwall, getting a clean 2-man wombo combo. Number 7, a play made by Lord Lund. He's moving in for a gank bot lane, but the enemy Twitch goes stealth, but instead of backing off, he decides to go for the meter call sonic wave and he lands it, getting him the kill and positioning himself for the kick on Anami, claiming two kills for his team and ward hopping to safety. And at this week's number 6, a play made by Thunderfox. He war jumps forward to line up the famous prediction onto Ezreal, lands it, and then follows it up, instantly alting for the three-man knockup, followed by Yasuo ulti, leading to a clean 2 for 0 exchange. Coming in at number 5, we have a tie between two sick 1v1 outplays. And at this week's number 4 spot, a play made by Mastery Level 7. The play begins with a successful dragon steal. He ward hops over the wall, gets the smite steal, and then flashes out to dodge a CC chain, but turns around with a sonic wave, goes in fearlessly, makes stuff happen, Raka all comes in, and just when you think he's toast, he pulls out the clutch sonic wave resonating strike to get the triple kill, and then patiently attains his quadra kill. And at this week's number 3 spot, we have somewhat of a different play. It was an amazing escape and a finish made by BL Bike. What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way, I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. And at this week's number 2 spot, a play made by Aegis from Tico. He gets engaged on by Fizz here, Morgana Binding cuts off his escape, but he kick flashes to dodge it and get the 3-man knockup, follows it up with Sonic Wave, getting the shutdown on LeBlanc, and quickly ward hopping over the wall to get his double kill. And this week's number 1 Lee Sin play goes to I'm Andre with an absolutely disgusting kick flash prediction.
I hope you guys enjoyed this week's top 10, and as we get into the bonus clips and my honorable mentions for the week, I just want to address a few major concerns. First of all, if you guys enjoyed the video and if you enjoy all of my videos, I would really appreciate all of you take the extra two seconds to like my video every time you watch one. Whether you're just a casual viewer of mine, only watching them once in a blue moon, or if you're my consistent viewer who watches every single one of my videos, it goes a really long way for my channel to just leave a like. And if you're really looking to go the extra mile to help me and my channel out, leave a comment too. Recently, I'm sure you've heard of the changes with YouTube. Videos with a lot of activity are getting more exposure, meaning likes and comments comments play a huge part in channel growth and success now. I'm not going to sit here and scam you for likes or do those cringy, alright guys, let's go for 100,000 likes on this video. Instead, I just come to you genuinely asking for the extra few seconds of your time to help me out. Secondly, I just want to address another elephant in the room, and that's why I make these videos longer than they need to be. Well, the way that YouTube is set up currently, videos with longer average watch time also get more exposure. This means if you guys watch this video from start to finish and I stop it at 4 or 5 minutes, the average watch time will be much lower than if I put it in 10 or 15 minutes. Even if you exit the video right now, there will be people who want to watch the whole video and that drives up the average watch time, which in turn brings my channel more exposure and thus more growth. I'm being honest and open about this topic because I think there's too many YouTubers who are taking advantage of their viewers right now and they don't even talk about it, they just do it. And while I do understand why they do it, I just think it's always best to be upfront and open about this so that you guys don't ever feel that way on my channel. I wouldn't be here with almost 90,000 subscribers if it wasn't for all of you, so the least I can do is be extremely transparent about all of this. The way I see it, it's a win-win. You guys who want more content get more content, and in return, I get more exposure and growth for my channel. Enjoy the rest of the honorable mentions, guys. I'm going to be making a few awesome community montages with all of the plays I've gotten in the last two weeks, so look out for that. I'll also be giving away RP soon, so don't miss out on that. But that's all I wanted to say. I really do hope you guys know I appreciate the support. I'm getting close to my long-term goal of 100,000 subscribers, and when that happens, you will get the most sincere speech from me, I promise. But that's all from me. Until next time, guys. What's left to say? What's left to say? Because I'm leaving all the pain today, me. What I'm trying to say, believe in, I can find a way Hey, And I'm dreaming, no need to show me how the reason You can't slow me down, season, the moment only now Yeah, so we gon' be about what I'll be still can't believe everything I see if I'm gonna stay down well it's up to me it's up to me yeah living in a world overcome with greed not what I want got everything I need and I'm working hard till the day I succeed the day I succeed cuz I'm leaving all the pain today me man what I'm trying to say believe in I can find a way hey and I'm dreaming, no need to show me how the reason You can't slow me down, season, the moment only now Yeah, so we gon' be The junior always wanna be the senior I swear that the grass looks greener Wanna change your demeanor Looking like John Cena A girl that is fast with her ass like Trina Do exactly what you need to do But you can't have your cake and eat it too And I swear the very second we complain Is when the thing we work for Is the thing that we obtain Yeah And I don't understand why You always wanna change the path It's not having what you want It's wanting what you have
I might not pop bottles in a nightclub Or blow up the same way as Mike Stud When life hits me in the face like a right snub If you relate, it's alright, cuz Let's go!